And today I'm going to go over using the eyedropper tool in Adobe InDesign. It works a little bit differently than it does in Adobe Photoshop, but in some ways it's kind of similar. So go ahead and open up a new document in Adobe InDesign. And first what we're going to do, I'll show you one way that it's kind of similar. Go ahead and go to File Place, place an image in. I'm just going to click and drag this one in. Um, so we have an image here, and let's say you wanted to pull a hue, one of those bl blue hues, out of the background there. What you can do is go ahead and let's say we want to apply it to a fill of a rectangle. So choose the rectangle tool right here on the toolbar. Click and drag shape out like so. Notice that we have the fill on top instead of the border, you know, the stroke. We have the fill on top there. So that's selected. And then go ahead and select the eyedropper tool off the toolbar. You can just press I also as a shortcut. And then if I click on the photo here, you can notice that it actually, wherever I clicked, it selected that hue and set it for the fill. Notice though, after I click, that it turns into kind of a right facing eyedropper with that black fill. That just means wherever I uh, select next I can apply that but I already had that selected so I went ahead and applied it. But if I click elsewhere it, it won't uh, apply that new area to, for the hue, right? Well in order to do that all you have to do is press Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and it brings it back to that original icon there. And then you can click and you'll notice as I click around different hues it sets that fill of the shape over there to wherever I'm clicking. So if I let go of the Alt, then it goes back to the other one. All right. So that's one way to use it. And that's kind of similar to how it works in Photoshop in that you can open up a image and select a certain hue out of a photo. For example, you're trying to make some kind of color scheme that matches a photo in your magazine spread, for example. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and delete both of those. Go to the rectangle tool again. And I'm going to draw out three shapes here. Doesn't matter what size they are, just three ones that you can see. And this one I'm going to give it a 10 border here and kind of a unique design. Actually, I'm going to make that 20 so it's more visible than 30. Next one, I'll just keep that nice and simple. And this third one, make it dashed. And you can also change these colors if you wanted, but and I'm going to show you actually how it's different in InDesign than Photoshop. So if I have this one selected here and I wanted for uh, to apply some kind of style to that in this one we've only added a border style and a color then what you can do is select the eyedropper tool if I just click over here it actually applies as you can see wherever I selected because this was already selected All right. so whatever selected and basically uh, it kind of adopts that style and it does it isn't just the uh, the border there it can also be the fill it can be a certain style it can be certain effects that have been added to it All right. so that's why it's a little bit different from Photoshop you're not just pulling out a, a pixel of a you know a hue in a specific photo but you're actually taking the attributes of an object and using the eyedropper tool to grab it from one shape and apply it to the other so let's say nothing is selected. So I clicked off here. Uh, so nothing is selected with the selection tool. All right. Then choose the eyedropper tool. And if notice it has the left facing eyedropper icon there. If I click once, now it's kind of grabbed those attributes. So for this, it's just the style of that border and the color. Now wherever I click next, it's going to apply it. 
So if I click into both of those, it will actually apply this original one to both of those. All right, I'm going to undo that. And with nothing selected again, let's say I click that again, it turns into the right facing eyedropper. Let's say I didn't want to grab those. Well, it's got that applied to it, kind of like in the clip. It's similar to the clipboard concept. Um, I've kind of copied these attributes. It's separate from the clipboard, something different, but I've copied these attributes into the eyedropper tool, and wherever I click next, it would apply those. But let's say I want to actually grab these attributes here. All you got to do again is hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and then click down here. Then it will apply those to the other shapes. And you can do this for photographs, borders of photos, um, different effects added to shapes. Let's say you did kind of a really detailed and in-depth effect, kind of a real subtle drop shadow, but maybe a border added and different kind of effects you've added to an object. Well, you can actually just grab all those, that kind of look, style, and apply it to other objects pretty quickly using the eyedropper tool. So those are two ways to use it in Adobe InDesign. Thanks.